I think we should start with Trey Lance because let's be honest, he is the number one topic on this team. He's the number one topic on this team, not the starting quarterback, not the defense, not the not the head coach, it's Trey. Even though he might I mean like he was fighting for his job today. I think today what Trey Lance did today was like borderline inspirational. Like I know, I know like maybe some of us overly identify with him and maybe empathize a little bit too much with him. You know, he's a very rich kid, not kid. He's a very rich young man who is set for life and he's trying to play a dangerous sport and It'll work out or it won't. But we knew what was at stake for Trey Lance coming into this game. Everyone wrote him off after that performance last week. He wasn't going to get as much playing time this week. If he struggled again, the Niners would have every excuse to cut him. And the way Brock played, the way Darnold played, the pressure was on Lance. Like, pretty much if he struggled, I think Niner fans would have been more than okay with the team cutting him and rolling with Darnold and, and Purdy. Lance was playing for his job with the Niners, if not his career in, in, in general. And when he threw that pick on his first drive, felt like it was over for him. Now, in retrospect, it was a bit of a bad break. Not a good throw, but it got tipped. And then there was like a diving interception. Like, okay, rough break, but also bad play. And knowing Trey, or not knowing Trey, but just our, our little bit of an exposure to Trey kind of made me feel like he might go in the tank. Like, he's a little bit more like Nick Mullins than Jimmy Garoppolo in the sense that I feel like he wants to be perfect and making mistakes really bothers him. Like, Jimmy Garoppolo didn't care at all. So, once that mistake happened, I felt like, man, he's going to go in the tank. He needs to get the hell out of here. He's putting too much pressure on him. He, he can't be confident. He looks miserable. Everyone wrote him off. I wrote him off. And then he comes out again for the next drive. And it's better. He picks up some some first downs. There's, there's penalties. He, they don't score. But quietly, it looks better. And then the third drive, all of a sudden, he gets a rhythm. And he hits six completions in a row, quick throws, in rhythm, slants, stuff that he normally wouldn't hit in rhythm. And then he throws that 22-yard touchdown pass, 21-yard touchdown pass to Cameron Latsu. And it dawns on you, like, man, that's the longest throw a Niners quarterback has hit today. And then he does it again on the next drive, like leads him right back down the field for the game-winning field goal. So... Does that mean that Trey Lance is the best quarterback on the team? No. But it does mean that he can play in the NFL. There was a question about that heading into this game. There was a question about that after the first drive. He can play in the NFL. And I don't know if he'll end up, ever end up being the starter here, but there's a job for him waiting. The Niners better be really careful about what they do with Trey Lance because if they cut him, He's going to sign on a team that knows what to do with him, that lets him play, and he could be really good in a couple. He could be the. I wouldn't be surprised if he's the comeback player of the year in a couple years with the Seahawks. That's just where I think this is going. But let's not go down that far. Let's go backward. We see what Trey Lance. He's he's a slow starter. He may not always be a slow starter, but a slow starter for a couple of reasons. One, he hasn't played that much football. Every time it's his first series, he looks like it's been a while. Like, he doesn't quite know what he's doing. By the third or fourth series, he looks like he's settled in. And that was the, the case in his win against the Texans. Remember, it wasn't looking good in the first half. Then he settled in, blew him away in the second half. So he's a bit of a slow starter. Is it because he hasn't played that much football? Is it also because he came from North Dakota State? I know the Raiders used to feel this way about Derek Carr, who came from Fresno State. He was jittery early in games. Because even big games at Fresno State cannot match NFL games. That's a small crowd. That's a small stage compared to the NFL. And, I mean, North Dakota State's like that even more. It's a, it, no one knows you're playing football. Like, no one cares that you played a football game at North Dakota State. So, now, you, every single freaking thing you do is scrutinized, even in practice. And maybe it takes Trey Lance to just calm down and play football. But that's beautiful of this game. It's three hours long. And the, the nerves have to go away eventually. And with Trey, unfortunately for him, he just hasn't been in many opportunities where he could play a whole game. But, and that makes you think, like, what if the last three years, the Niners had just given him all the reps in the preseason? All of them. Or 75 to 80% of the reps in preseason. Like, you know what? We got Sam Darnold. We have Brandon Allen. They're vets. We have Nate Sudfeld. We got all these vet backups. They don't need to play. Trey needs to play because he hasn't played in college. He took the COVID year off. He needs to play. What if he had gotten all the reps in preseason the last three years? What would he look like now? What if he had played into the third quarter last week? What, do we, what would he have looked like last week? 
it seems pretty clear that the longer he plays, the better he does, the more confidence he has. He improves. And now what's funny is you haven't really given him that many reps. At the very end of the second preseason game, he shows something. And the Niners are like, what do we do? We were this close to cutting him. We were this close to trading him. What do we do? You know what you do? You let him play with the starters next week. Because fair is fair. Brock Purdy played one drive with the starters. Sam Darnold played one drive with the starters today. Let's see what Trey Lance looks like behind the starting offensive line. With Debo Samuel out there. Because, no disrespect to Brock Purdy, he looked good today. But when you can throw a pass behind the line of scrimmage to Debo and he picks up 15 yards, damn it, you're going to look good. I'd like to see what that looks like. I feel like Trey earned it. I'm not saying start him week one. I'm not. But give him a look-see. See what it looks like. I think he earned it. And not just that he earned it. Like, you spent three first-round picks on him. He was your first-round pick this year. And he's showing strides. In the minimal opportunities you've given him, when you let him play for more than a freaking series, he's improving. He clearly belongs in this league. He's the youngest quarterback on the team. He's the least experienced quarterback on the team. Give him all the reps in preseason. All these reps that go to Sam Donald are waste. You know why? Because Sam Donald isn't improving. So, good for Lance. Inspirational. Everyone wrote him off. And then he played well. That says something about him, right? He's more resilient than we thought. I thought he would go in the tank. I thought he would be like, oh, you know, there's another bad break. Everything's not going my way. This sucks. Nope. I guess he's a much more resilient person than we thought. So, I'm impressed. It doesn't mean he's a great quarterback. It doesn't mean he should start. But it means he should be on this team. And there's another week of preseason. And enough of Sam Darnold. We need to get a better look at Trey Lance. So the Niners can make a real accurate decision on what they should do with their quarterback depth chart. Sven says, can we get a Fernando? Why did I do that the first time? Somebody needs to find the original. Lance looked good in the design run outside, said happy faster. No, they should keep going, uh, throwing, uh, running them between the tackles. That's better. Jose Batista says, can we trade Darnold now? Who the hell wants Sam Darnold? Did you see how, how, how much the Niner fans cheered when he was done? He's like, yes! It's over! It's true. Roger Cantu says, Papa Cone gonna owe you a bottle. Pick my spots with these with these wagers. Shout out Papa Cone, big guy.